Hey, what's up guys? Well Customs here, and today we are taking a look at Marvel's Avengers Infinity War, and this is Rocket Raccoon and Groot. These are basically basic figures, but I really got it for Groot, really, and the cool gun right there from Rocket. Uh, here is the back. Looks pretty cool. Let's open them up. Alright guys, so here they are out of the box, and they do come with two accessories. So first off the bat, Rocket does come with a nice looking blaster. I have to say, I like this blaster a lot. Take a look at that detail all over the handle right there a lot of detail looks pretty nice actually a lot better than the other Marvel Legend ones that we have seen in the past next up right here we do have a infinity stone right here and you do actually place this on top of the gun right there and all this is part of some interactive thing called hero vision the infinity stone provides power ups in the hero vision gameplay so I guess you download a game or you go on a computer or something like that who knows but there you go alright so if you want rocket to hold the gun this is how it looks like I'm not gonna lie this is exactly how it looks like in the back of the box and I got looking there's like no place for him to put his hand in the handle or like that and it's not big enough and there is not a lot of articulation as well so uh, this is what you get maybe you stick it right here but yeah not gonna work Alright, so even though I got this whole set for the Teenage Groot right here, uh, let's take a look at Rocket really quickly and just battle right through him. Uh, first off, he basically is a basic figure. Nothing special about him. I'll do a nice size comparison with some of the other Marvel Legend Rockets in my collection. But uh, going for articulation, he does have a ball joint in the head. Nothing special. It goes up and down just a little bit. Left and right, no problem there. On the shoulders, on hinges that rotate, go all the way around. Up and down, no problems there. There's no articulation in the bicep elbow or wrist right there nothing in the body nothing in the waist uh, for the hips they're on hinges they go up about that much not that high they go back a little bit not bad but that's about it nothing at the knee and nothing at the ankle all right so here is teenage Groot right here I love this whole evolution of Groot first he was Groot then he's baby Groot now he is teenage Groot which is kind of interesting overall so basically I got this thing because you know what I know there's going to be a Marvel Legends one in a three pack, uh, but if you don't want to spend the money, I think this is a good option to get because, you know, he, it's cheap. You don't have to spend a lot of money on a three pack and hunt it down. This is a basic figure, and you won't have any problem finding him, in my opinion. So let's take a look at him really close up. All right, so here's a nice close up of that face, and look at that mug. He is pretty much an emo looking Groot right there. You did get a glimpse of him in the second Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Uh, at the end credits when he's playing his video games and Star-Lord is yelling at him basically about how dirty his room is so it's pretty funny uh, but looking at him emo looking doesn't like he doesn't look like he wants to do anything really uh, looking at the body pretty decent overall uh, some paint apps right there green brown dark brown some black and stuff like that so uh, not bad going down to the rest of the body pretty plain Pretty much like a Groot would be. Not bad sculpting as well. Remember, this is a basic figure. Uh, so don't expect that much out of it. But as a nice figure for a collection piece to have in your group, it's not bad. Alright, so going to articulation really quickly. Here's a ball joint ahead. Pretty decent. It goes all the way up, which is pretty nice. Goes down just a little bit, which is not bad too. That's straight right there. Left and right, no problems there. Also pivots. So it's pretty good range on the head joint right there, which is pretty nice. At the shoulder right there, it's on a hinge joint that rotates all the way around, pretty good. Up and down as well, so it's pretty decent. No bicep articulation, however, at the elbow, it does go up about 90 degrees, which is pretty nice. and also rotates left and right, so you do have that instead, which is pretty good. At the wrist, there is no articulation. Now for the rest of the body, he has no body articulation, no ab joint at all, no waist joint also. At the hips right here, he has just swivel hips. Pretty standard to go all the way up actually, better than 90 degrees, so it's pretty funny right there. And no knee or no ankle, so it's pretty standard, uh, but at least he has pretty good articulation and his arms. Now actually, if you take a look at the box set, he is actually holding a game console over there, which is pretty funny. However, this set does not come with one. I know that, the th I think the three pack of the Marvel Legend one does come with one. Uh, but this one does not and regretfully I couldn't find any of my accessories that were like phones or tablets uh, So I just grabbed anything small right here And what's good about this figure is that basically with the articulation and the elbows that rotate you could have him holding something at least in His hands because hands are pretty decent that you can hold stuff too and you can bring them together so that way you can have him 
like playing a video game and stuff like that. Looking down too with his great articulation in his neck, which is not bad. And let's have him off in the corner right there playing video games while the rest of the Guardians save the world. Alright, size comparison time, and here is the size comparison you all have been waiting for. Just kidding, but here it is. Baby Groot, Teenage Groot, and you have Adult Groot right there. Here's the evolution and the growth spur of Groot. Not bad, looks pretty good. Uh, this is actually the first version of Groot right here from that uh, Build-A-Figure pack from the first wave of the Guardians. Uh, and here, right here is the basic Rocket. And here's a nice size comparison between Rocket, Groot, and the new Build-A-Figure of Thanos. Alright, so here is Rocket from the other Marvel Legend Rockets uh, in my collection right here. This is from the first movie, this is from the second one, probably the better one overall. But he's a decent size, a little bit taller, but overall about the same size of all of them. Uh, he does lack the articulation in the arms to hold the gun properly, unlike these which have nice elbow and also wrist articulation. Even though there's a swivel at the wrist, it's still pretty decent overall. And I forgot to mention before, uh, Rocket does have a tail in the back that swivels up and down. Now the rocket from the second movie does have trouble holding the gun as well because it's just that his hands are too small for this handle so you might have a problem trying to get him to hold it. And for last size comparison right here we have the rest of the Guardians different mixture of movies and also comic but my favorites in general so I won't do the comparison right here. Rocket looks fine decent size overall. Groot on the other hand he looks fine to me I'm not sh sure if he's supposed to be taller or shorter but it looks pretty decent, you know, he looks like your average skinny, dweeby looking teenager, just angry at the world, which is, I'm pretty sure what they're going for, so, not bad. Alright, so overall it's a pretty fun set, you know, it's a cheap, basic set, but you do have some fun figures. Uh, Rock himself is not that bad if you need him just to stand there, which is pretty good. But Groot, on the other hand, I love this Groot. It's a nice, cheap Groot, but he is pretty much worth it in my opinion. You could have your... Guardians posing and have Groot in the background playing video games and that's all you need him to do right pretty much right so not that bad uh, like I said before uh, his elbows are pretty good in articulation so you could have him holding something which isn't bad his hands are pretty similar to like the old Groots where it's just like the fingers are in the thumb is po positioned in a way but you could kind of move it around so that way you could put something in his hand right there so that's about it guys, thanks for watching, I hope you had fun and enjoyed the video, and that's about it, so like always, comment, criticize, subscribe, do whatever you want, pay attention, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at awildandcustoms.com, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, peace!